Here you see we have a basic gobo texture of a lit window broadcast on this blank gray wall. What we want to do is select the lighting object that controls this gobo and change it to the Vectorworks logo. Here we'll select our lighting device and we'll click edit in the object info palette. Under light information we'll go down to gobo 1, this light object only has one gobo, and we'll click get resource. Here we'll see both the default gobos and the ones listed in the document. We'll choose this Vectorworks gobo and click OK, and then click OK again. We'll go up to our saved views and go back to the perspective isometric view of the wall. And we'll see here we have our gobo texture displayed properly on the museum exhibit wall. Now applying and changing a gobo texture is relatively easy as you just saw, but one of the main problems people tend to have are that the rendering modes they choose no longer show the gobo display. You'll see here in OpenGL rendering that the gobo is not displayed on the wall. OpenGL does not display shadows or gobo textures. Another common mistake is to go to fast render works. It'll show the pool of light but will not display the shadows required for a gobo texture to make sense. If you go to Final Quality Render Works, of course, you'll see that everything is displayed properly. But users do not always want to go and use Final Quality Render Works for every rendering. What we can do here is go to Custom Render Works Options. Custom Render Works can be configured to work either properly or improperly with Gobo textures. You'll see if we disable the shadows in Custom Render Works Options and render in Custom Render Works we'll only see the pool of light. We won't actually see the gobo texture itself displayed from the light instrument. If we go to custom render works options again, we can re-enable lighting and we'll re-enable the shadows, but we'll disable textures. And once these are disabled, if we hit OK, we'll see that it won't run into the gobo texture, nor will it render any other texture. With custom render works, with textures and shadows turned on, you'll be able to render your gobo textures and you'll be able to tweak the rendering, final gather, and geometry settings in the other options for custom renderworks in any way you'd like.